covering a little bit of history in Mexico City. We are at the church and shrine of the Lady of Guadalupe. Some people say Guadalupe, but I'm pretty sure it's Guadalupe. Um, this is kind of the mecca of where everything uh, changed for the Mexican culture. Right now, the Mexican culture is very, very, very religious. Um, and that all started right here, basically. So 1531 on this hill that we're on, you can kind of see it better as we uh, came up. Uh, poor farm worker, to give you the long and short of it, sees the apparition of the Lady of Guadalupe. She tells him to build a church. Uh, he goes back and people want proof of this. He uh, sees the apparition again who tells him to go pick these roses that are bloomed out of season up on the hill. He puts it into his robe, tarp, fabric of uh, clothing that he's wearing. And when he brings it back down to the priest and the, um, and the others, um, the picture of the Lady of Guadalupe appears. And it's right in the, uh, that shrine behind us. It's a Sunday, so there's a lot of people here for church. But we're going to try to see uh, if we can get any sort of look at it. Inteligencia Uh, you know, the real legend behind this picture here is that since 1531 it hasn't faded and there's been all sorts of tests done on it to see if it was a painting supposedly the texture um, of the color and the the material that it was on proves that it couldn't have been paint you know believe what you want to believe but you know, people still flock to this place every Sunday, probably every day. And uh, this area is extremely religious basically because of it. Everywhere you go, you'll see um, paintings and uh, statues of the Virgin Mary, the Lady of Guadalupe. Uh, inside, outside buildings, you see it in every locker room that we, we go in for CMLL. Uh, but it all stems from right here. This is kind of ground zero for the change in the Mexican culture uh, into the religious culture they are today. So behind me is the Condominio Insurgentas. These 19 stories, 400 units, 
one of the prime real estate locations of the 60s and 70s here in Mexico City. The earthquake of 85 completely destroyed it, and it's been abandoned ever since, but if you look behind me and if you saw that video I just uh, posted scanning the bu building, it looks like people are inside it. It's actually squatters. Squatters are still inside these 19 stories here. But even after the last earthquake, this building is falling apart and could fall apart at any minute. It's kind of a good representation of Mexico City as a whole, where you'll have beautiful, beautiful historic stuff, and then right down the street, 19 stories of abandoned condominiums. I wish I could get a better shot of this because you can't really get inside the gates anymore, but this was built to be like an artistic center of Mexico City. It was um, supposed to be a state-of-the-art place with casinos and, and theaters and, and all this different stuff. And it remains abandoned today and it's been that way since 1945. Since 1945, this giant structure behind me that takes up you know two city blocks on either side of the corner here has been abandoned. And it's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in Mexico City. Um, construction was halted after the um, the foreman or the guy that was the, constructing this building, the designer of the building, actually killed his family in this building and then hung himself in the courtyard. So this is supposed to be one of the most haunted spots in Mexico. Um, and today, there's actually squatters inside this building as well. And there's supposedly like government officials that uh, live in like nice apartments up here and you would never know because no one would go in there since it looks so abandoned. But um, I actually peeked around a little bit. I was trying to see if I could get inside this building or the last one, and it's pretty sketchy. And my, you know, my Spanish is is muy poquito, so uh, I, I didn't want to get shanked. Um, it wasn't on my to-do list here in Mexico City. But you can see, busy road. Let me get you a bit. Busy road, right on the corner. Prime real estate here in Mexico City has been abandoned since World War II. Ha, 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 ha. 